We're taking this seriously. We're looking at from every aspect. Orono Police Chief Corey Farniok says dispatch got the call around 830 this morning from a person he says enters this home routinely. That caller discovering two people dead inside the Lake Minnetonka home. Upon entering, we found two individuals deceased, one adult male, one adult female, and they were both inside the house and a gun was recovered. Several sources close to the family confirmed to CARE 11 that the dead are Irwin Jacobs and his wife, Alexandra. Irwin was a prominent Twin Cities businessman. Very shocking that something would happen. Dave Briggs is the president of YZ Marine. He says Jacobs was well known in the boating industry. Certainly some of the big national brands were under his leadership and grew and, and uh, so he was, he was an important person in the whole industry. Now the question, how did Jacobs and his wife die? Police say that information will come from the medical examiner, but the chief reiterated several times that there is no threat to the public at this time. If our investigation leads us to any other path, we'll make sure that we get that information out immediately. And police are calling this a very active investigation. We've actually been seeing officers coming in and out of that home on Shoreline Drive all day today. If we get any updates, we'll be sure to pass that along both online and on air. Julie, right. back to you. So sad. Thank you, Alex. Erwin Jacobs is well known throughout the Twin Cities, having had his hand in everything from Grain Belt Beer to the Vikings, and as you heard, the boating industry over the course of his lengthy career. AJ Legault joins us now from the newsroom with a look at Erwin's background. AJ? Julie, Erwin Jacobs was a longtime entrepreneur and CEO, well known for buying struggling companies and their assets and later selling them for big profit, even billed by Fortune magazine in 1985 as a Minneapolis takeover artist. One of the companies he owned, Minnesota-based Genmar Holdings, a boat building company that at one point saw sales totaling about a billion dollars. Jacobs is also known for his history with Grain Belt, buying the brewing company in 1975. But less than a year later, after the purchase, the company closed. In another venture, Jacobs owned a company called Closeout Merchandise Buyers, which with the Cable Value Network helped pioneer shopping by TV and was eventually bought by QVC. Of course, most famously, Jacobs also once held a minority ownership of the Minnesota Vikings. And Julie, in 2010, he was inducted into the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame because of his sponsorship of some of the world's best known fishing tournaments. Back to you. All right. Thanks, AJ.